Swallow family, greetings. Oh, Unado, how are you? You know, Jesus Culture wrote a song which has been playing over and over in my head recently. The chorus goes something like this. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. And then it goes on and it goes on. You know, Jesus having fulfilled his mission on earth to save humanity, that's you and me, and to bring about the redemption of his creation, he has passed the baton to his people, the church, to advance his kingdom purposes in the world. And Jesus has sent his Holy Spirit, the same spirit who anointed him. He has sent him to indwell and empower us to do his will in the world. You know, Jesus told his disciples prior to his death and resurrection in John 16, he says, It is to your advantage that I am leaving. For if I do not leave, the Helper, that's the Holy Spirit, will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Over the past two weeks at Swallow, following on from our Just Jesus series, we began a new series exploring the person and work of the Holy Spirit. And our series is titled, inside out. As perhaps the most misunderstood and misrepresented person in the Trinity, we want to, as it were, clear the name and person of the Holy Spirit and move us to live in the Spirit. And in this series, we'll seek to clarify the doctrines of the Holy Spirit which relate to His person, His purpose, His power, His produce, that's His fruit, His presence, His gifts. And if you haven't been following this series so far, I want to encourage you to go back to our YouTube page and watch the past two weeks' messages and follow up for more in our upcoming services and believers' meetings. I want to encourage us to allow the life of the Holy Spirit to flow from within us out to transform our world. Next Sunday, we celebrate Father's Day, looking forward to that. And we have a guest speaker, Dr. Michael Coombs, who will be sharing with us. I'm going to ask you to pray for him and invite your fathers, brothers, sons, boys, and men to join our services. And I want to remind us, a reminder for some, and a, 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 a notification for all of us, that effective this Sunday, that's June 19th through to the end of August, we will host only one face-to-face, in-person service starting at 9 a.m. each Sunday. There will be no 8 a.m. service, no 10.30 a.m. service, just one in-person service at 9. And of course, we'll have our usual online service via YouTube at 9. You know, the fact is we have been observing a decline in attendance, particularly at our second service since the start of the fifth wave of COVID-19. We believe this may be one of the factors that could be contributing to this decline in attendance. And so as good stewards of our God-given resources, we took this decision. We ask for your support and thank you for your understanding as we continue to, as we say in this environment, pivot in response to the changing hides. You know, a lot has happened since our last checking and there's a lot more to come as we face summer. Let me just share with you some of those things ahead. More, our marriage ministry. Um, host a couple's cook-off this Friday at 7 o'clock at number 7. I want to pause here to let you know that I have declined to enter as I feel I would be at an unfair advantage with Brenda and my team. I just say, you don't know. Saturday, June 18, Melo, our men's ministry, they will be having their online Bible study, a study of Elijah at 7.30 p.m. with General Len Kelly. Sunday, that's June 19, Mellow kicks off in our Father's Day week, their Mellow Week, and we'll have a series of special activities during that week. On Monday, June 20, Meetup, which is our adult, young adult-led fellowship, continues this XOXO relationship series. That's in person at 6.30 at number nine. I was there last Monday, and it was an awesome panel discussion as they discussed friendship. 
come join Meetup. Our food distribution to the elderly and indigent in the Swallowfield community takes place on Monday, June 27, and we welcome your monetary contributions or non-perishable items. Donations will be accepted up to Thursday, June 23. Then, on Saturday, July 2, note this date, at 6 p.m., our Teen Ministry Crossroad Spearheads Anthem, an evening of praise and worship. This is an in-person event and will involve swallows of all ages leading us in worship. And so this is for the entire Swallow family. Bring your family, your friends, even your enemies, and join us in worship. The following day, which is Sunday, July 3, we have teamed up with the National Blood Transfusion Service to host a blood donation drive here at number five Swallowfield Road from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. You know, we have noted the increased demand for blood and the challenge of meeting these needs timely. And so as a church, we want to invest in saving lives, which as the slogan goes, may be your very own. And so I want to encourage you to sign up early and give blood if you are able. And then on Monday, July 18th to July 27, it's all about ministering to our children, ages six years to 12 years old. In collaboration with Come Alive World, we'll be hosting Vacation Bible School. We have dubbed it a Mystery Island Adventure. It will be lots of fun and includes Bible studies, music, crafts, sports, and so much more. I want to encourage us to invest in our children. How? Register your children, volunteer to serve, and you can make donations of food items, and very, very importantly, pray for VBS and for the salvation of our children. Now for details how to get involved and to support these various activities, please visit the link in the description below. On another note, you'll be pleased to know that we have been building a production studio upstairs number seven to foster and expand our music, visuals and online ministries. We are doing finishing touches now to the studio and we hope to have a formal opening soon. Also, we are gearing up to commence landscaping on the transformational oasis at number seven. So beautification and green spaces are therefore coming. We'll have areas then to hang out in a wholesome environment with, as my son-in-law Timmy Sky would say, with good people, good food, and good vibes. A lot is on the horizon and we recognize here at Swallow that our work and ministry will be in vain without the enabling of the Holy Spirit. So I return to Jesus' culture and say, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. May we be God's transforming presence in our world. And I pray that the Lord will continue to watch over you and your family, keep you and I just pray that, that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit will rest, remain, and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you.